Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Better at Everything and in this video I'm going to go over the transparency uh, options of hatching and how to make sure that it's plotting correctly and how to use it. Um, so right here I've got a uh, an image and property lines uh, for an area around me and to start I'm going to outline the area that I want uh, to place a transparent color over. Now this works in all all uh, fields in AutoCAD whether you're uh, using it for mechanical or industrial anytime you want to place a transparent hatch uh, you can use this method so I'm just gonna draw a line real quick and this is just gonna be the outline of our hatch I'm gonna delete the line later although you can leave it it doesn't matter so I'm gonna say that this area that I'm selecting here is the area I'm working on and it's going to be our uh, our site area. I'm just going to hit C for close. So now you can probably see there's a white polyline here and that's going to uh, outline our area. Uh, I missed a couple points here but it doesn't matter. So we're going to type in uh, hatch to activate the hatch command and when you hit enter it's going to uh, change your ribbon to the hatch creation tab if not it'll bring up the uh, settings window which you can also force to come up by hitting T and then enter uh, so to choose our hatch we're going to click select in the top left and select our white line now you can see it's all hatched in but we want to use a full hatch. Now normally this would look ridiculous but by using transparencies and a cool color so we're gonna highlight the area that we're working on in red let's say. We're gonna turn up the transparency. You'll be able to see right away whoops just typed U and then enter for undo you're gonna be able to see right away. Notice that mine didn't turn hatch or mine didn't turn transparent right away. That's because down here, along the bottom of your AutoCAD, you're gonna have all these buttons. This one that looks like a square with blue dots in it turns on and off your transparencies. So now that just turned it on and sent it to the back. Everything's at the back. So to make sure we can see what's going on, we're gonna use draw order. And by selecting our image, right-clicking, draw order, and send to back, it sent it behind all the other objects. Now, you can see the property lines clearly. You can see the hatched area that we're working on. And you can see the image all at the same time. This is very useful for uh, if you're in civil or environmental and you need to do site plans. But it can also be used in uh, many different kinds of design. It allows you to highlight an area easily without blocking what's behind it. By selecting this hatch, you can uh, turn up or down the transparency. So let's make it really light by turning up the tra transparency. That means you can see through it more. It sent it to the back again, which is annoying. And there it is. I just hit regen there to make sure it showed up and then I just hit undo and then I'll hit redo so you can see the difference that's the difference between a 50% and a 70% 70% is lighter so there you have it that's the hatch command in a nutshell as well as how to turn it on and off having a bunch of hatches in your drawing will cause it to run slowly so I like to leave them off until I'm actually ready to uh, use them. Although if you're working and you need to see what's behind it, turn them back on. That's at the bottom and it's the show hide transparency button. Now there's one last thing you need to remember when uh, hatching and that's when you go to plot, right click on your tab, hit plot. You need to uh, hit this little expand arrow and make sure plot transparency is checked on. If you don't have that checked on, you're not going to be able to see the uh, 
the effect of the transparency. You're just going to see this solid. So by selecting it, applying it to the layout, I pick DWG to PDF. I'm just going to hit preview. And you can see that we can see through the color to the image behind it. Pretty cool, right? If you've got any questions at all, don't forget to ask in the comments below and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.